Behind me is the fake Forbidden City. Whenever it comes to shooting of、um, Beijing's Forbidden City, these days in China, this is the only place you can go because the real Forbidden City has forbidden people to actually go in and shoot dramas there. As the wear and tear of those bricks gets worse every year, which makes a lot of sense to protect a 600 years old piece of architecture in Beijing. There was a mountain behind it, to the north of the palace compound, and that's a human-made soil mount. It's tiny. It's called Jingshan, and it's by no means this size, as you can see here at Hengdian, where it's situated at the foot of a mountain. So, these days, if you see a Chinese Ming or Qing Dynasty palace setting drama, that's shot in a very palace. Look alike place, but somehow there's a huge mountain in the background. Then you know it's shot in Hengdian, not in real Beijing, unless they digitally remove it. For some dramas they do, some other dramas they don't. Tada! Oh, a giant balloon! Didn't expect to see that. A couple of days ago, when I was in Beijing, I took a shot. Of Wuman, from the side angle of it, so I'm walking towards that angle and matching it up with my previous photo and video, and just see side by side how different it appears in my memory. Okay, they're pretty similar. The pillar color is slightly different. I think the real Forbidden Palace right now it's not so warm and bright red. The pillar. The pillars are darker, and it doesn't have this red ribbon decoration. I was like about there when I took the shot. So this is the fake woman, and then in comparison to the real thing, which one do you think is more impressive? I think the fake Forbidden City is pretty well built. I guess you have to say, thanks to the、uh, quite developed drama making industry of China, it becomes profitable and reasonable for such. A fake palace to exist. It's not exactly the same size as the real Forbidden City. It doesn't have all the structures and courtyards as the real palaces. That recording was just telling you a show is gonna happen at two o'clock. If you want to watch it, you should head over there. <laughs> Basically, look at the map. Right now, we are at two. Two, and the show is this one. So they're telling you to go there. If it's worth filming, I'll film it. If it's not, oh, I won't. <laughs> And then we'll walk into the other parts of this place. And the palace closes in summer time at five, winter time four thirty. Apart from the mountain behind, you know, everything looks pretty nice. Oh, also, look at the railing. In Beijing, the railing is made of real hanbaiyu, the type of stone that is like jade, really pretty. This is fake. This is just normal concrete. <laughs> with a bit pink job, therefore it's starting to crack. <laughs> See that? Tai He Dian Square, the biggest structure of the、uh, Forbidden City, for real. But obviously, we're in the drama version, as you can see the mountain behind. These things historically are used for storing water in case of fire. But obviously, this is a set, so if you knock on it, <laughs> it's not the real thing. Don't think any Qin Dynasty or Ming Dynasty dramas are shooting these days. So. It's completely open for just tourists, and 
If you see that mountain behind, let me raise my gimbal as far as I can. If you could see that, I do believe the flat top mountain is a very recognizable sign of Dongyang, Ba Mian Shan. I asked the taxi driver today, so if he's wrong, then I'm telling you wrong information. But he told me that is the eight sides mountain. And the special thing about it is there's no connected mountain around it. It just rises up from the middle of the city where it's flat land. It's not connected to any other mountain. It's just one single mountain and it has a flat top. Also, I think geographically, the stone of that mountain is different from all the other mountains around this area. Therefore, there are a lot of legends about what that mountain is and where it comes from. But I think technically speaking, it's actually a dead volcano. And on top of that flat thing that's behind this building, you can't see it right now. Uh, supposedly there's a lake. I mean, this is a pretty shot if you have a right focal length camera to shoot this angle walking up, it's pretty. But obviously in real Beijing palace, there's no huge green mountain right behind it. Another palace compound behind and then to our right are all the little palaces where all the domestic dramas of the emperor takes place. <laughs> if you look at how many platforms the main palace is sitting on top of the three and if you go to Beijing that's the case too and you'll notice that the palace is actually rather small as it sits on the top one. The Ming Dynasty original main palace, that's this guy, is a lot bigger. But once it got burned down, basically China was out of the size of the wood that's needed for the pillar, for the beam of a palace of that size, literally, because they've completely used up all the wood reservation in the uh, forests. And as you know, this type of thing needs hundreds of years of growing. So <laughs> in Qing Dynasty, they literally don't have the wood necessary to rebuild the same size thing anymore. Therefore, the current one that you see in Forbidden City for real is about this size, which doesn't even fill the top platform. Whereas the Ming Dynasty one will be even wider, longer, and it will fill almost up to the edge of the top platform. Mm -hmm. One of those things of the history. Hey, 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 you know what? Because I see truck. There's a drama shooting there. Let's go around and ask if that's true. There is drama shooting and it is this one. Chongfei 9,000 years old, adored, spoiled, super beloved concubine. So I'm guessing there's a drama shooting right there. So I'm not gonna walk in. Oh yeah, I can see the lights. Yeah, I'm not getting in there. This is also replicating the uh, behind the Taihedian Palace. I've been to the real thing. It looks exactly the same size. Apart from, we have overgrown vegetation on top of the roof. Needs maintenance. Needs a Ming Dynasty or Qing Dynasty drama crew <laughs> to shoot here, to clean that up. Look at that. When it's a fake thing, you know it's a fake thing. Paint is falling. This is not real. Realistically, it should be all metal. Huh. Oh, oh, that. Hmm. Reminds me of the staircase that uh, Roshi falls down in Scarlet Heart. Let's turn around and see if that is the case. Get a bit of space between me and the staircase. Let's swing around. That. And that. It may be, it may not be. I have no idea. If it is, it is. It does look like it. If we ultra wide this, this looks even more like it. Everybody is resting for the afternoon. So. I'll just not disturb them. More props. So we've just actually got into the set of Chongfei Jiu Tian Sui. 
I have to go back and check who is the lead. And I mean, judging by the title, it must be like one of those idol period drama comedy, like Shuang Shi Chong Fei, that type of thing. I mean, this is pretty good. And it's actually stone. This is stone. <laughs> this is like similar texture as the real thing. The steps. It's not fake. It's real stone. The railing is fake. And in dramas, I think in Ru Yi Zhuan, Ru Yi, Royal Palace, whatever, English translation, they had the emperor walking up <laughs> on this, on the middle part of all the dragon thing. It's funny. It made all the historians laugh their ass off because that never happens in reality. Nobody walks on those dragons. You can't. Like, look at how undulating that is. Imagine walking. <laughs> You're gonna break your ankles. The real thing is they have a huge carriage on two sides. There will be humans holding up that carriage and the emperor sit in the carriage and then it goes up the staircase. That's how it gets done in reality. For the real Taihe Dian, you can't even go in there now in Beijing. And for the fake one, taking ridiculous photos dressed up like the Qin Palace we saw yesterday. Here, they also rent costumes out for you to uh, get dressed up. Pay money and you can sit up there and take a photo of yourself. I'm feeling so good. It's definitely wedding photos. Ah, lovely. I'm sure there's a shot from Long Zhu Chuan Qi, Yang Zi and Qin Jun Jie back in the days when they were still a couple. And that 98 episodes painful Qin Dynasty drama that I never get to see the ending. Yeah, this looks familiar. Some kind of having a conference, having a meeting, having some kind of slow action show happening. Space. Avenue X is on the throne now. Hmm, let's swing around. Hmm, does this angle look familiar to you? Have you seen it in some dramas? This building. And that's Great Corner. I definitely, again, have seen it in certain dramas. Some kind of street scene can be shot here. And we're close to sunset time. So I think this area can be used for shooting um, commoners, living space of Ming and Qing dynasty, particularly around Beijing area, because it does have that um, northern architecture style instead, instead of the uh, southern ones. I'm sure dramas such as, um, I don't know, if Huan Zhu Gogo was shot here, it was too early, that was early 2000s. You can definitely set up a street scene, a little market scene, commoners living space scene in this area. Back to the main part, the palaces, the red walls, the orange tile, beautiful sky. I've been here three days and every day was hot, super hot. The only consolation is things look good on camera and the balloon is back. <laughs> We've completed the full circle of the set, Ming and Qing Palace. So, facing a gorgeous and burning sunset at the exit of the Ming and Qing Palace in Hengdian, that should end this video and most of my set's visit on this trip. I do intend to uh, walk around Hengdian, the actual city, for a bit and see if there are interesting things I can film. There are actually more sets that you can visit, but the ones I've picked are the ones that I think are most common showing up in dramas and probably people are most interested in. Thank you for watching Avenue X. Hope this has been uh, an interesting series of videos from me.